Before this video starts, if you guys can head over to my channel and click the subscribe button and actually turn my alerts on to be notified whenever I upload, that basically help you guys be more aware of what I'm uploading, you know, when you guys can check out my new tutorials. And that's all I have for you guys. Make sure to enjoy the video and I'll see you guys in a little bit. One, two, three, fuck it. Good afternoon everyone, it's Garrett and today I'm going to give you guys a new tutorial showing you guys how to make your own graffiti signatures or um, just signatures in general. We're going to be using Adobe Illustrator CC, you guys can use CS6, um, CS5, whatever you guys choose. And uh, for tablets, I'm actually using the Wacom Intinuous Art. If you guys do want to go check out a lot of tablets, I'll leave a lot of links in the description to an Amazon link. You guys can go and purchase them there. Um, a lot of them are actually pretty cheap. You guys can get some for around $40 to $50. You know, you can see on the screen ones I'm showing you that I'm actually going to be using right now. And uh, basically, they're really awesome to use. It's, um, there's a lot of cool things you can make with these. And they're, as I said before, you know, it might not be the best kind of Christmas present for you guys. But of course, if you guys need something to ask for your parents or ask for Hanukkah or something like this, definitely something that everyone should go check out. And a lot of things that artists need and want and uh, should have. So to break it down into the graffiti signatures and signatures in general, what I did is actually brought up my own signature right here to show you guys, you know, one style of how to approach this, which is a very bold, you know, has a cursive and it has also that kind of graffiti look to it. And it's very clean, very elegant, you know, it has a very good matching style with the ease, you know, it, everything matches pretty good, perfectly. And uh, today we're going to be going over how to basically make stuff like this. And we're not going to be going over certain styles, however, we're going to be basically going over your own techniques, you know, how to create your own style and everything like that. So of course, what I like doing right away to you know, show you guys other examples of signatures so just so you don't have a biased view, is head over to Google actually and type in graffiti signatures on the URL in the search bar. And right here is just a really awesome kind of way to look at things, you know, find a cool way to look at it, find cool styles that everyone does. And a lot of things that people actually do is they kind of have this very, you know, abstract, very tall, very wide and stuff like that signatures. Of course, that's fine. That's their style. That's how they do it. They also have kind of bars that go under it. And, uh, but as soon as you get into like, different tags and stuff like that, that's when things start getting a little interesting. You know, you have very abstract ones, ones that flow really well together and uh, just ones that don't look good. But, you know, everything's a different kind of style than per people's opinions. So, uh, of course, you know, typing in graffiti signatures always helps. Um, you can type in graffiti tags, actually. That's another very good example for people to kind of look at. These are more so what um, probably the viewer wants to make is these graffiti tags because they have that very elegant look to it. They're very, you know, in your face. They're very um, graffiti-like abstract. And this is basically a lot of things that people want to get into. So the first things first is basically breaking it down into alphabets. And I do have a lot of tips for you guys. I've got seven tips I'm going to be going over in this video. But to get over it right, like really quickly, just type in graffiti. Um, you, know, you can type in alphabet, type in like signature alphabet. And basically, um, do some research, take some time, look over the A's, the B's, the C's, look at every single letter you can, and uh, you know, extra things around here, you know, look at how other people approach letters, because it's a really interesting way on how people can, you know, make certain new things, like certain cash signs, how the A's look different in each one. So definitely do some research, maybe print out a couple examples or a couple, you know, mood boards for yourself, and uh, to get stuff going. But enough of me talking about that, let's actually get into Illustrator itself and basically show you guys how to make your own things. So for the first tip I'm actually going to show you guys is keeping everything smooth and your hands are basically the way the, the way everything's going to happen. So whether that be a smooth line, um, luckily enough in Illustrator that your lines can actually be smooth and out. So if you do like a really choppy line, it actually smooths it out. It doesn't have that kind of really pixelated look to it because it's a vector. So. However, you need to worry about how smooth things are. So of course, I'm just using my um, my pen and my tablet right now. So it's very you know easy. If I click on my mouse really quick and draw a straight line, um, it's very easy to do. But once we start getting into letters, it's very you know hard to make very nice letters. And so of course, I do recommend getting a pen and tablet. However, you know a mouse will work fine with this. But uh, basically, smoothness is going to play the huge part in this because if you're going for letters and you know styles, if you're going to do a G, you can't have a G that looks like very smooth and stuff like that next to like an A that's like kind of wavy. You know, your hand can't really stay straight and it has a kind of weird look to it. And there are ways to get past this. You guys can click on your arrows right here and click on the path, then click on free transforming, you know, change these 
and you'll work on it that way however that's you know later on in this video showing you guys how to combine things like that so definitely practicing how smooth your lines are and whether that be you know just drawing straight lines over and over again and it might seem boring but of course you know practice makes perfect so you, know you can draw like different things and just practice the way your hands flow because it's going to be a huge part on the way everything looks so basically that's going to be the first tip second tip is going to be practicing and when i say practice i mean you know keep doing stuff over and over again so let's just say you want to draw your name so i'm going to do like a b and you can do any style you can do a b like that and you know like this and then basically you know practice the same thing over and over again and you're gonna soon you know have different looks on it everything's not going to be the same you can try different things bigger maybe add like lines inside of it and uh, practice you know makes perfect you know things like this look really nice so you can draw styles like this you can draw your own stuff and be adding a little like, kind of quotation marks around it and uh, a lot of things that artists are really kind of scared to do when they're doing signatures is hitting control Z so I personally really like using control Z because I can draw like let's say I'm gonna draw an A and I draw the first line and then I want to draw the second line but let's say this is a little too close and then I hit control Z this is too far away so you know control Z really you know helps out the whole entire process because I can draw a G and then we want to draw an A and then let's say that I don't like that A I can re you know draw it and I keep hitting control Z and then basically work on and on from there so of course control Z super helpful tip for everyone like that and uh, definitely the third tip is going to be different styles and this means styles as in lettering so for example B's can be broken down into a regular B like this or it can be broken down to know, that and you know you can go on with different B's over and over again and you know styles can be just changed over and over again so definitely something that everyone should you know work on is just trying new things out because you're always gonna want to try out new styles because you're gonna find your own that way personally when I do my own like kind of lettering and signatures and stuff like that i have a very you know flowy kind of thing to it you know my handwriting is very bubbly um on paper and pen so i have a very you know cursive and very curly feel to my lettering but uh some lettering like a's i like doing you know big arches and then b's i like having that kind of curl that goes around it so definitely practicing different styles and uh, another super nice tip for that is actually practicing the alphabet which kind of seems weird because you're probably all either in high school college or you guys are graduated and uh just doing the alphabet over and over again might seem a little weird but basically you know don't have to do the full alphabet just go like a and then b c and then just keep doing you no know, lettering over and over again and then if you're done with that you know do all those letters and then basically erase it and then try you know lowercase and you know just try different things because you want to keep practicing how everything works because once you start getting into you know more technical things like very large names that you're going to need to learn those letters and you can't just wing you know an e on the spot like that because you're not going to know how to actually do it itself so basically you know practicing the alphabet and that's a really good tip is actually is like i said printing out these alphabets because you can actually copy these and learn the styles and you know whether it be copying or using them as references you can always you know look around and even practicing like different letters like this like s's are a really good tip and a tool for learning lettering because an s can be like this it can be broken down and you know it's just how you want to do it whether it be like very curly or has that kind of swoop to it it's very you know unique on how you can do things and that's why i like practicing you know certain letters because certain people are going to want certain styles when you're doing these for clients or for personal work and you know just like practicing over and over again is really helpful so you can do an s like that and then you know you can do other letters over that or you can guys can start like adding those kind of cool lines to it quotation marks and then you guys can have your own little cool graffiti signature logo but basically practicing the alphabet can really bring everything together and then once you start getting more into stuff is doodling names and when i mean doodling names isn't like getting clients and then trying their name over and over again it's like when you're bored open up you know your computer look around you look in your surroundings and then start just doodling words you see you're doodling your friends names because practice is gonna help you tremendously doing this. So whether that be looking at this and then drawing, you know, a B and then, you know, an E 
and then just practicing how everything works. You know, let's say we're gonna do an R this way and then a line. And you know, just keep practicing. You know, you can do the letter bear, the name bear. Um, you can do, let's say like my name, which is Garrett. So you can do like an A and you know, just keep working on, you know, different styles because you're gonna try a lot of different things and you wanna keep practicing, you know, some things aren't gonna look too great, so don't feel discouraged. Just practice names over and over again. Like even look at like your keyboard, like try to jot down the name for it. like mine's Razor. So, you know, try to do an R and, you know, just try to make it, you know, unique in a sense that you like it yourself. So, you know, Razor and, you know, just like stuff like this is just like basic. It doesn't look extremely well, but like I said, you're practicing. And uh, just numbers too, even like this Arizona can I right next to me has 99 cents written right on it. So you can practice, you know, your nines and then your cents. And, you know, stuff like that can actually, it's like really tremendously help your designs and help your, you know, learning stuff like that. And it works for all kinds of designs, just like helping, you know, repetition, you know, keep going on and on and on. And, uh, you know, Batman, you can draw like character names. And like I said, it's really up to you. But basically these is like kind of tips that I like doing. And uh, just try different things. You don't have to stick to one different style. Like just try different things. You don't have to do the same, you know, B or the same S or the same T. Let's just say you want to do the word um, like Saint or like ST. You can do like an S and then you can do like a T or you can do like an S like this or maybe even bring the S into the T. So you can like really work with other things, which is basically why I like doing kind of graffiti styles and showing you guys the tips and tricks that I like using. But uh, basically going into this further is actually breaking it down to the sixth step, which is going to be, you know, accessories and extra stuff. So extra stuff really means if you go into like here, this crown, the quotation marks, the circle, stuff like this, you know, cash signs, um, quotation marks are huge. Um, crowns are also a very big thing in graffiti tags. And uh, you can just type in graffiti tags back on Google. And you're basically going to find, you know, halos coming on around here, arrows. And I like practicing arrows a lot because I use them in some of my um, graffiti signatures as well. But uh, basically, just keep practicing stuff, whether it be very clean, very abstract. Like how it's not going to kill you to basically sit here and draw arrows like this over and over again. Because you're not only learning how the arrow, you know, works, but you're also practicing, you know, everything like that. You're practicing the style. You can even, you know, jot down arrow like this. You know, work with stuff like that. Um, draw arrows on pieces of paper. Then you can, you know, draw halos, how you want the halo to be, whether it be a closed circle, you know, weird, you know, you can just practice stuff. You can draw like one letter. You can draw like a B, then a halo around it, or like a halo up here. Um, it's really up to you and how you want to do stuff. But a really cool thing that everyone should also practice is, you know, the, when you have the accessories and stuff like this is these lines on the bottom. And the reason behind that is because when you draw a name, like let's just say you draw like bear really quickly, that once you have like kind of the whole thing broken down is you can start adding like lines and stuff under it. So you can draw like a line here and you know, you can work with different things. You can draw a line and then bring it down and up or bring it around. You can curl it around. Um, other people like drawing a line and then dotting it. So of course you don't have to do it under a name. However, you can you know basically click right here grab your brush tool and this drag dot and then you can you know, drag another line draw these two you know figure out how you want to do it because things are going to change and basically you know practice uh, stuff like that um like i said you know like these huge lines these quotation marks i'm not too sure that everyone needs to practice how quotation marks work but it's one small line and then one big line one small line one big line are two fat lines um you can do different styles you can do like little check marks but basically that's that and then you know once you start getting more into this you know feeling very comfortable is don't feel discouraged when you can't draw a signature like this you can't like just pick up the pen on your tablet and then draw you know a very unique b or a very unique letter whether that be an a a b an R, you know, don't feel discouraged when you can't draw something like that because 
you really need to practice this and like I said I'm not too very good at these um I can't do letter E's very well my handwriting um when I when I do B's for some reason my handwriting is like this but I can't do a B like this so I have to like learn to like chop it down into different sections so like this and uh basically you know i keep practicing myself i practice this almost every day you know i just get home from school and start drawing when i get bored and uh like this you can draw out the word whack um because it's on here and don't have to mess with um different sized letters but you know you can see that uppercase and lowercase you know it does really play a part because you don't want to have you know let's say when you're doing let's say the word whack um um you don't do like a w like this and then you do a uppercase A and then a lowercase C, lowercase O and then uppercase M. Cause then this looks too out of place. So, you know, you have to worry about your text placements, your um, letter placements and stuff like that. So uh, that's basically all I have for you guys today. Um, You know, once you start doing this, you can start, you know, making alphabets. So you can take like an A and then you can draw like a C and then draw like an E. And then you can take the paths and then move them closer together like this. And you know you can start messing with how all that kind of stuff works but that's going to be all it for today that's basically how to make your own signature in general is really breaking it down into these steps so if you guys want to see the steps and um save them to your folder save them to a notepad they're going to be in the description below of course you guys can go check out the amazon link to get your own wacom tablet they're very cheap um very good christmas present of course and uh, that's basically all i have for you today if you guys did enjoy this video make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel all the help and like, the hard work i've been putting into my channel i really hope you guys support this and i really hope you guys like this video because i'm trying to get more kind of types of videos that everyone wants to see so if you guys do have any suggestions let me know in the comment section below i'm going to try to get my channel being more professional so of course you know bear with me when i do that huge switch from call of duty stuff to more professional um try my best um i'm still growing an immense amount of subscribers so you guys are really amazing but that's basically all i have for you guys today um this thank you so much for all the support and make sure to keep subscribing liking the videos and turning my alerts on and that's basically it for the video i'll see you guys later on peace out